Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another informative video for you all. Retractions are when the stoma essentially goes beneath the surface of your skin. It doesn't happen every single day to me, but it's pretty frequent in my life. And especially ticks up when I have a lot of bulk in my diet. So what I've had to do is sort of come up with ways to put on a bag that's more suitable for retractions and a retracted stoma to prevent any kind of leakage or bag falling off emergencies in the middle of class like I've talked about or in the middle of like something that I'm supposed to be doing when I need a bag on, which is pretty much everything in my life besides showering. This is a Colaplast Centura Mio convex bag. So some of you may know what this means. A convex bag essentially means that the wafer has a little divot here that makes it stick more to the skin, it has a, like an extra layer of protection um, when it's surrounding the peristomal area. When I say peristomal area, I mean the area of skin that's directly around the stoma. Perry Stomal. And I'm going to show you guys kind of a cool tip that I learned from my ostomy nurse. Once I had thrown away all of the boxes that my bags come in, um, and I really wanted to know what the reference number for those specific bags were, but like I said, I'd thrown out the boxes. So I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I'm screwed. I don't know where to get these products. But she said that there is a really cool thing that Coloplast does specifically. I don't know if Hollister does this too. If you lift up the interior um, flap, here. It actually has the reference number printed on the inside of the bag. So the reference number for this specific uh, convex Centura Mio bag is 16705. My best bag that I've ever used. I can't recommend it enough. So the next thing that I want to talk about is something that probably all of you use, regardless of if you have a retracted stoma. Uh, this is called a coloplast. <laughs> I know, I'm like a little coloplast uh, fangirl. It's the coloplast Brava line. It's the multiple ring. And the reference number is 120307. Really nice. I put it around the uh, hole where my stoma will be fitting through. I'll show you guys that in a clip where I will put on the bag uh, so that all of you can see it. Next thing I wanna talk about, another moisture helper, is uh, the Calvicon uh, No Sting Barrier Film. This is really nice. It creates a film between your skin and the wafer of the bag so that your skin isn't stripped as easily of all of its oils and external layering. I have sensitive skin, so the Calvicon Barriers films are absolutely a must for people with sensitive skin like me. The next product I wanna talk about is also Coloplast. Uh, sorry for the redundancy. It's an adhesive remover spray. I know for a fact that Hollister also makes one, uh, but this one is my favorite. It's very sting free, which means that for my sensitive skin, it doesn't cause that like kind of caustic alcohol feeling when you actually apply it to the skin. This just takes everything off. It takes off Tegenerm, it takes off, you know, the bag itself, it takes off the barrier ring really well. So I can't, I can't recommend this enough. Next, I want to talk about another Coloplast product. These are elastic barrier rings. Uh, they could not be more helpful. I think I've talked about them in a past video where I talked about leaking during class. Um, this is what the rings look like when they're in the package. Uh, you just take them out and they are these little flexible silicone strips. You put them around the perimeter of your stoma to prevent leakage. These are the Active Lifestyle Products Sure Seal Rings. They are what I put around the perimeter of my stoma or wafer just to ensure that there is no leakage. They are extremely helpful. I will be showing later how I apply them once the bag is actually on. The last thing I wanna talk about, which I'll also show you how to use in the next clip, is called the Brava um, Absorbing Powder. It's essentially a moisture absorbing powder. You put it in the peristomal area around the very rim of your stoma. 
It helps not only protect the skin, the peristomal skin of the stoma, which on me tends to be very like raw and red from my sensitivity, but it also helps the bag stay on better because the bag really clings to dryness. It does not cling to moisture. Moisture will almost inevitably make the bag fall off. Before we put the bag on, I actually wanna show you how I clip the bag and cut it so that I can put it around the stoma and so that I can also get that barrier ring around. So as you can see, I'm kind of um, cutting it around like the one mark, um, one inch. So that is where my stoma is currently, but I know everyone's stoma tends to move around in the day. I had measured mine before um, a few weeks ago and it stayed around one inch this whole time. Don't worry about getting this circle that you've cut perfect because it's not going to matter much. Um, once you actually put on the uh, ring, it will compensate for any sort of divots you may have here, like I've done. <laughs> You'd think with all this time cutting out bags, I'd be a little bit better arts and crafts, but I'm not. So now we're going to put on this Coloplast Brava moldable ring. It has these little strips that you're going to pull off like so, and it leaves you with this sort of flexible ring that you will then put around the circle where your stone will be fitting. So let's paste it right here, perfect. Now start folding that in. Some people like to put this ring around the stoma before they actually put on the bag. Um, I feel like this is a little bit better for me personally, but I know everyone's a little bit different in that way. This is how it actually looks when it has the uh, ring and the stoma hole cut out. I'm going to show you how I tend to put on my bags with my dry skin routine, my sensitive skin routine. So first we want to start out with the Calvicon um, No Sting Barrier Films. They are really helpful for keeping out any kind of dryness, irritation, etc. Um, and then we're also going to be using Adapt. It's the stoma powder. This is a drying powder, so it will help your bag stick a little bit better. It also provides some protection for the peristomal area. So here you're seeing that I'm spraying the stoma powder around the peristomal area, and I wanna get it kinda all over. So one thing you can do if you're having trouble getting it on the bottom of the stoma is just press it up into the air and jerk it back and forth, you'll get pretty much powder all over the place, as I have. Okay, so now I kind of brush off the excess from your skin, but keep it around this parasomal area because that's gonna be important. It's gonna really help provide um, more dryness for a better barrier stick. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Calvicon Moist Film. We're going to tap it on lightly, and I wanna make sure you guys can see I'm just tapping it enough and getting it moist enough to make that powder nice and pasty almost. Um, you don't want it to be overly saturated with the barrier film liquid, but enough to get it covered pretty nicely. What's good about this stuff is that it tends to dry really quickly. You want to get it fully dry before you put on your actual bag. If you don't, then your bag will not stick properly because the bags are really built to stick to completely dry skin, completely dry. So make sure everything is dried up before you actually put on your uh, bag. Now, while I'm waiting for that to happen, I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. So this is already my bag. Now the reason that I use this specific bag is because it's, as you can see, it's called a convex bag. The convex bags buffer out slightly so that it clings to your stoma area a little bit better. These bags help me prevent leakage from retractions. So I'm all dried up um, and it's looking pretty good. The stoma's looking pretty good, pretty healthy today. I'm glad about that, we love to see it. Um, now, I'm going to check, make sure it's nice and dry. Yep, looks good, okay. Now I'm going to put on my bag and press it down, really nice. I have a little problem area around the midline. I have some slight bumpiness that makes it really difficult to get a flat seal. 
So anywhere that you might have a problem area, just push it in extra well. You don't want to hurt yourself, but you just want to make sure that you're getting a nice, strong, hard seal. And it looks like I've done that. So next I will apply the Tegaderm Sure Seal Ring. So I talked about these rings in my last video. Um, as I said before, they are kind of a lifesaver for me, especially with my proneness to leaks, <laughs> uh, be they from retractions or just from my very wet stool. So we're gonna pull off this first tab, like so. Then pull your bag through. This very good. Okay. Don't worry too much if you have, like I do, um, these belt clinches, the plastic belt uh, hooks. I can you can go over them or under them with this tegaderm barrier. The tegaderm is really nice because it kind of conforms to anything you put it around, so it won't really be problematic. So now we're going to pull off this inner inner tab. So, good, okay, press it around, then we make our little seal in the top. Pull it back. Okay, and then we pull that off. Easy, done. Looks good, actually. It feels good. It doesn't feel, um, Tegaderm's nice because it feels really breathable. And the bag itself is looking done. So, yeah. I hope you guys found this really helpful.